What's going on people? Welcome back to another video. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, but I'm back. Today I'm saying goodbye to another local abandoned building, and that is the Shapland and Petter. I'm just waiting for the right time to jump over the fence. As you can see, there's loads of construction machinery in there. At one point, this whole area where the Asda is, is in all these developments over here. All used to be a part of this one factory, but that got knocked down years ago and these buildings are the only ones surviving. Right, well, that took longer than I thought. So these buildings were built in 1888 and designed by a local architect called William Clement Oliver. They've completely dug up the ground. It's currently a Saturday so I'm hoping there's no builders on the site or anything. There's nobody on site, I think. There's two skips here, so it looks like they're clearing out the building. And you can walk in, I think. I really hope I can get in. Oh shit, they've completely cleared all this out. If I ever go under, or around, I think I'm gonna have to go under. Brand new Adidas trackers as well. Absolutely covered in dust and my bag. They've probably cleared this out. In here used to be the book room. I'll insert some photos on my Instagram about what this room used to look like. It's so confusing about where everything used to be. Was it up here? Yeah, it was. So d there is definitely construction work going on because they've rigged up these lights so the builders can see and stuff. Holy sh They've proper cleared this out. They've even brushed the floor as well. Very surprising, actually. I didn't think I was going to get in here and I really didn't think they would have done this much to it. Let's explore this part first. This part is the offices. The other part is the door showroom. Everything's just cleared out. Again, they put film on the uh, windows again. I don't know why they've done that. Basically, I did a video of this place before it's been cleared out. The link for that will be in the description below if you guys do want to check it out before it's been cleared out. At the moment, it's just an empty shell of a building, but it's the last to explore before this gets renovated. So it's unique. So I believe this side is the door showroom at one point and this side is the offices but i'm not sure also a bit more additional history about this place originally 
they had another factory, but that got burned down. And that's when this place got re rebuilt where it is now. They actually upgraded their fireproofing by adding sprinkler devices and fireproofing all the doors and stuff. Another cool bit of uh, history there. So heading up to the other part of the offices, which is, again, all cleared out. Oh, I remember this actually. There used to be little rooms along here. So this was the office area. Quite cool where they put the scaffolding up though. Yeah, at some point this is going to be all redeveloped, all fancy, into new flats. Let's head up again. Oh, this is the attic. It's always dark up here. They've probably cleared the attic out completely. They have as well. For some reason I didn't think they would. But they have. It's just an attic anyway, there's nothing really there. I'm so dusty from climbing under that gate. There's a lot of modified cars out today. And I can't really see them because of this film. You guys can probably hear them on the, uh, on the camera. <laughs> wow. It's the Merc there, look. Listen to that. That's music to my ears. Anyway, I'm gonna head down to the other part. So strange seeing it like this, in this empty state. Is it this way? Oh, they've completely redone this because the original floor was f***ed because of the roof because it was leaking and it was really bad oh there's pigeons holy sh this is all open plan now let's have a look down here see all of this is gone there used to be loads of stuff in here all empty. That fridge thing is still here though. I don't think I'm much changed in here because of all the asbestos. Like all that stuff was asbestos. Well, I don't know where to step here. Because it does look pretty dodgy. Got some trolleys, wheelbarrows. Oh my god, <laughs> look how many chairs there are. These are like the ones you get at school, they're so uncomfortable. I wonder why it says keep out. Must be a reason, probably because the floor's dodgy, or there's asbestos or something. That's probably it. Let's proceed upstairs. Uh, they're like construction lights. Definitely getting ready to do some major work at some point. Okay, let's head through here first. Ooh. I like how they've just put doors and stuff over all the bad parts. Oh, that's really bad. 
last time I came here, there was a metal thing. I don't know what you call it. It's like a tub of water or something. And it's just collecting, collecting water and just getting heavier. I believe the photo you see on screen now was taken in here. Not sure though. At least you can actually see out of this window, see the town. They haven't done much to this part though. So this is the door showroom. So for example, you've got this door here. And it says about it. And there's some more doors. It gives some information. Yeah, see these two doors. It says information about it here. But yeah, they haven't really done much in here to clear it out. Oh God. Yeah, they have been up here, I think. So as I'm walking up these stairs, they haven't been up. I mean, I think they've been up here because there's scaffolding at the end. Oh, that's a sick view. I mean, this is literally the last view of the town from the Shaplands before it gets renovated. Right, let's proceed. So we're going to head up to the actual roof part now. John Lewis, Peterborough. <laughs> right, we're heading up to the roof. I don't really know if these are stairs or if this is a ladder. So I'm going to chill up here for a bit. And just look at this view. Right, I'm just going to chill up here for a bit. I'm going to grab some more photos. I'm basically going to say goodbye to this place before it goes. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so I've got you guys just on the GoPro. Haven't got you on any stabilizer, so sorry for that. Just ran out of battery. I'm gonna go take some photos on my camera. They will be on my Instagram at the Mask of Explorer YT on screen now and in the description below. I'm heading out of here now. I've gotten a few phone photos. They're not going to be anything special. They're going to be pretty much point and shoot. Right, I'm going to get pretty dusty again. So what, if any security comes now? How am I going to take them away like this? <sighs> wow. That's that for you. Bet my back probably did it. Look at that. Well, let's just head over it. <clears throat> Ignore that voice crack, you didn't hear that. <laughs> I'm gonna head over this wall and then I'll do that for the video. Cool. 
So thank you all for watching this video. If you have watched this far, you obviously did enjoy the video, so smash the like button. Be sure to go subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.